the world looks upon me as a struggle alone. They say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart, I'm rejoicing. Good morning, Holy Spirit, for your love and your compassion towards our lives, and for blessing us out of the reserves of the kingdom of God. Lord God, empower us with your divine enablement to accomplish our God-given dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Beloved, here is a passage from Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 to 10 which says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with, your, and with the first fruit of all your increase, and your bonds will be filled with plenty, and your bonds will be overflow with new wine. Basically, what God is saying to us is that He's got all of these resources. He got vineyard, He's got bonds, and etc. And the Bible says he has entrusted some of it to us. And then when we are faithful to him in administering what he has entrusted to us, he will continue to provide for us so that there will always be enough. He just continues or keeps replenishing what we need so that we are never in want. Therefore, as previously what we have understood from the pages of scriptures, God blesses us out of the reservoir of his grace. And again, he blesses us out of the resources of his own in heaven and out of his riches, out of the riches of his glory to we receive his blessings. And out of the reserves of his kingdom, he also has given you and I everything we need so that he can bless us in every imaginable way. Even the scriptures attest to this that if these things are yours and are bound, you'll be neither barren unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins. 
And so here we are beginning to see that God wants us to search with our godly maturity. In his kingdom, as he gives us the necessary virtues, especially as the apostle Peter tells us, he says, if, if these things are yours and are bound, that is what Peter says. And so, God wants us to grow deeper and wider and richer in our faith. And that is why the Apostle Peter, Peter in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, he encourages us by saying that we will grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus and Savior Jesus Christ. And so one of the blessings of the kingdom is the fact that God wants you and I to possess this courage in increasing measure so that it will keep you and I from being effective and unproductive. And so Peter put that in the negative. Which I believe that you and I can restate it in the positive. In the sense he's saying that if you possess these qualities and you are growing them, you will be increasingly effective and productive in whatever you do for Jesus Christ. As your brothers and sisters, Peter, Peter, Peter knows why. He is writing you and I to be even more diligent to make our call and election sure. And therefore, he says, if you do these things, you'll never stumble. For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Peter may declare that some of these virtues or qualities has to do with the fact that we won't be short-sighted and even to blindness. Your short-sighted people have trouble figuring out how to leave. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to act, what values they should have. May God give us the discernment to see things by faith and understanding that God is working all things for our good. Even the Lord, the psalmist even declared that, Lord, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your Lord. Take away my eyes from looking at worthless things and revive me in your way again. As your brothers and sisters, we need to be effective Christians, especially when we realize that we need genuine stability. Therefore, Peter even reminded us in 2 Peter 1 10 that be even more diligent to make your call and election sure. To make it certain, set your minds on endorsing, I mean, on endorsing by your conduct, the fact that God 
has called and chosen you. You know, God has chosen you, my brother, my sister. He has chosen you for his purpose. And that is why Jesus is asking you and I to come closer and be honest. And whatever he has entrusted to us is for our own blessing. It's our own, for our own blessing. That is why we have to secure, we believers in Christ, we have to secure whatever God has given to us as a positive character. Because this is an important tool which will help us one way or the other to understand the gravity of God's grace that he has given to us. And so, brothers and sisters, the reserves of God's kingdom is very, very important. That is why we need to carry God's power and his promise and his purposes because this is the gravity of his creed that keeps us steadily in the storm. So my prayer for all of us today is may God bless and keep us in his promises forever. To him be the glory both now and forevermore. Amen. I know I'm not wealthy these clothes, they're not new I don't have much money But Lord, I have you And that's all that matters Though the world may not see You gave